The Premier says that the government of Uganda has invested heavily in the health sector, both in training health workers and upgrading health facilities and equipping them. Nabanja says that government is moving from mere disease treatment to health education to encourage the people adapt to preventive health care. In this situation, we are moving away as a country or as government from predominantly disease-oriented care system to a health promotion one in line with the Ministry of Health Strategic Plan of 2020-2025. Nabanja appealed to health workers to love their country by being patriotic and avoid alcoholism if they are to serve the country well. For the country and the surrounding environment, I mean the people and their property and the love for yourself. Thinking and becoming a alcoholic. If you, somebody becomes alcoholic, does that mean that he loves himself? And so I want you to desist from such. Uh, then we have the. Nashimela Tina Nakalanzi, who represented the Commissioner, Ministry of Education and Sports, lauded private sector players for complementing government efforts in service delivery. I thank the founders of this training institution for this noble dream and the effort taken to implement all the standards and maintain all the required standards to this level. Monsignor Joseph Birungi, the proprietor of the St. Ambrose Institute of Health Sciences, asked government to support the private sector who are contributing to the development of health care services. Of students is growing steadily, as you have heard. We need a lot of food to feed the students. We have a lot of land outside the school premises. We already approached, approached you, Honorable Prime Minister to get a tractor to help us to do extensive agriculture. The Premier assured the congregation that government will address all the issues raised by management and promised to deliver the tractor next month of November 2023. Direct use the powers entrusted in me by His Excellency the President to direct the district local government of Kagadi to maintain this access road. To the institute. The graduation ceremony began with Holy Mass, celebrated by Monsignor Peter Kabelenge, who asked the graduates to be curious and aim to learn more to be relevant in the world of work. Graduates, be always curious. Continue learning so that you can remain relevant. So that you can remain relevant. St. Ambrose Institute of Health Sciences was started by Monsignor Reverend Father Joseph Birunji with the purpose of helping students acquire the much-needed health training to contribute to the development of the country. The Prime Minister officially commissioned St. Ambrose Institute of Health Sciences. St. Ambrose uh, Institute of Health Sciences, Kagadi, 